Coming into an organization, a program that had a uh, director of athletics for over 41 years, um, what's been your approach in, in trying to put your stamp on this program? Really just kind of asking the why, observing, and not trying to make any changes until I know you know, how we started, how we got here, and, and what everyone is looking forward to changing to. So it's not just Jackie's ideas, it's everyone kind of has a buy-in in what RIT athletics will look like in the future. You've had other experiences before coming here, your, your last experience being as the Associate AD at Albany State in Georgia. How have those prepared you for, for where you are now in this position? I am a student athlete focused AD. You have a lot of ADs who focus on the coaches, and mine is really focusing on that student athlete and that student athlete experience. Um, so I think all of my experiences from the time I was a student athlete till my last job really prepared me to sit in the seat here at RIT. What do you think the perception of RIT athletics is right now and what do you hope it to be in the future? Perception is uh, men's hockey, women's hockey and men's lacrosse and no one knows the other 21 programs we have on campus. Um, so my job is really to increase this what we look like locally, regionally and nationally here with RIT athletics and provide all of our programs with equal exposure. You know, obviously the student athlete experience is important, yeah. but winning, winning, how, how vital is that to, to your plan? Um, and we want our coaches to win because that creates exposure for your program, um, it creates exposure for the department, and most importantly, the institution. Um, so we want to make sure we win and we kind of get back to competing at that high level in the Liberty League. We've kind of been middle of the pack. We need to figure out what's going to take for us to get to the top of the pack of the Liberty League. We just don't want to say we're competing. We want to say that we're winning conference championships. Division one across the board. Is that something on the table that you thought about it yet or um, have had conversations about? Um, so we really want to spend some time diving down into that and getting the student athletes take on it, our coaches, and then really engaging our alumni and see what they want and then seeing kind of locally what this region is looking for. Are they looking for another Division One institution and do we have the capability to support that here in Rochester? We just don't want to be a Division One just kind of in name. We want to be able to compete at the Division One level and to compete at the Division One level is going to take a lot of money. Obviously the hockey programs are, are interested in that decision because it affects what they do and, and obviously scholarships are, are very important to them. Do you, do you feel that the hockey programs here need that to happen to continue to be successful or to be more successful? I think to be more successful, um, they need that to kind of level the playing field. So we have petitioned the NCAA um, and that'll go for a vote in um, January uh, for all Division Three to vote on to say yes or no, we support these institutions who are multi-divisional to have scholarships now. And we know that that doesn't change the experience for your Division Two or Division Three athletes by having Division One scholarships. You look at the facilities and obviously that's something that, that's being addressed. Um, what was your impressions of the facilities here on campus when you, when you first had a chance to look at them? I um, had the opportunity to travel to West Point this weekend, so another Division One institution and seeing some of their facilities. And some of our athletic facilities, once we finish baseball, softball, um, and track will be right on par with what they have at those facilities, including um, the stadium project, which we'll hopefully undertake over the next two years. Um, but starting with putting turf and lights out on that main field um, will put us right where we need to be, even if we're Division Three or Division One.